Hello, uh, welcome to Microsoft Online Tech Forum. Um, my name is Yoshiaki, and I'm a global black belt technical specialist on Azure security in cybersecurity solution group of Microsoft. And today I'm going to give a presentation on protect your cloud workload from threats and manage your security posture using Azure Security Center. So here's my agenda today. So at first, I'd like to recap what Azure Security Center is. Then next, I'd like to talk about cloud security posture and compliance management uh, provided by Azure Security Center. And I'd like to introduce what is new and I'd like to show some, some demos. Then I'll move on to uh, protect your cloud workload from threats and also introduce what's new and demos. Then I'll move on to call to action. So let me move on to Azure Security Center recap first. So nowadays, threat actors leverage a variety of exposures to breach. So that is not only limited to cloud, but also on-prem or existing IT environments as well. But there are so many exposures like insecure configuration, vulnerabilities, um, infected admin, open entry point, exposed credentials, and compromised users. And by making use of those things, uh, attackers will get access to virtual machines or applications or data stores, IoT devices. Then from that device or from that machine, uh, the attackers will, lateral, will start lateral movement toward VMs or applications that have more important information. Then they will take action to uh, cause data loss or data exfiltration or ransomware or resource abuse. So by using the exposure, uh, they will uh, attack your resources. Um, now, as a lot of customers are using public cloud, they need to think about public cloud security as well. So for Azure, Azure Security Center provides built-in control to protect such exposures or resources on Azure or on other public cloud. So Azure Security Center provides protection for identity and access management and network and data, databases or storage, and provide threat protection on each resource and provide security management that help you uh, manage your resources in terms of security. So as Azure Security Center is a built-in solution, you can make use of this very easily and you can easily start uh, to use uh, this solution to protect your resources. So Azure Security Center is a central portal for security of Azure and it provides two main features. One is strength and security posture. So in cloud as well as on-prem to get uh, Strengthen, uh, to strengthen your security posture is very important. So Azure Security Center provides uh, posture management, security posture management capability, providing secure score or position compliance management. And also Azure Security Center protects your resources against threats. For example, protect your servers, or protect cloud native workloads on app service or functions or provide uh, protection on databases and storage on Azure Pass. And by making use of those capabilities of Azure Security Center, you can easily secure your resources much faster than ever. And uh, in security posture management, we provide secure score, which is a calculated score on your security hygiene. So we calculate scores, for example, your access management or for your compute management or for your SQL server or network or applications. Then you can get the total secure score and which uh, gives your visibility into your security posture. 
Um, Agile Security Center automatically calculates your secure score from your environment. If you create a new resource, then uh, the secure score will automatically uh, check your new resource and change the score according to the setting or configuration. Now also, Agile Security Center protects your workers from threat. Uh, the coverage is very wide. So Azure Security Center covers app service or functions or VMs or servers on-prem, both Windows and Linux. And also Azure Security Center protects containers like Kubernetes services or container registries or covers SQL database or SQL server on IaaS. On, and also Azure Security Center for IoT, which was a new uh, solution released last year, uh, provide protection for your IoT devices and IoT hub, which is a cloud gateway of IoT solutions of Azure. And also Azure Security Center provides protection on network. So Azure Security Center detects some threats on your network layer on Azure. And also for management layer, for example, the management of subscriptions or access to portal, Azure Security Center protects those management layer as well. So by making use of this capability, you can uh, protect your resources and detect threats on your resources. So at first, I'd like to show some demos on, Azure, uh, on existing Azure Security Center uh, functions. So let me switch my display. And yes. And this is the dashboard of Azure Security Center. So if you have an Azure subscription, and if you have access to the subscriptions, then you can um, check your security posture as well as threat protection uh, provi provided by Azure Security Center on this dashboard. And as I said, Azure Security Center has two uh, functionalities. One is uh, uh, posture management, which is covered by this area and this area. And also, uh, threat protection covers workload protection platform, which is the second uh, functionality of Azure Security Center. So let me go into the first one. So Azure Security Center's secure score is the main uh, thing for security posture management. So by checking this secure score, you can check uh, the, your security hygiene for your subscriptions. And as Azure Security Score, Azure, Azure Security Center provides secure score for each subscription. You can check, for example, this subscription is good or this subscription is bad or so on. And if you go into a one subscription, then you can get secure score and recommendations related to the secure score. So Azure Security Center pro, uh, calculates secure scores uh, based on controls. So we have more than 10 security controls and each control has each score. For example, our remediated vulnerability has 99% or enable encryption at rest has 5% or etc. And each control uh, includes several recommendations inside. And if you fix all the recommendations here, then you can get the score. And for example, These vulnerabilities on your SQL database should be remediated. So this is one example of the recommendation. Then you can get, for example, what resources are affected or what are the recommend, uh, remediation steps for this recommendation. So you can get those information from the recommendation part. Also, 
you can check those recommendation per resource type, for example, compute, uh, an apps or networking or IoT or data and storage. And in network layer, we provide not only just uh, a list of recommendations, but also network map, which visualizes your network topology. So for example, this network map visualize uh, the network topology of my environment. And if you switch topology to allow traffic, then you can check uh, which VM can talk to which VM. So for example, this VM can talk to those VMs, but this VM cannot talk to this VM or etc. And if you click one VM, then you can get recommendations related to, to this resource. So for example, this recommendation shows uh, just in time network access for this VM. And for posture management, we also provide a regulatory compliance dashboard. So in Secure Score, we show what Microsoft recommends. But sometimes you need to check not only Microsoft recommendations, but also the industry uh, standards or something uh, related to the compliance standards. Then Azure Security Center provides dashboard, for example, for Azure CIS or PCI DSS or ISO or SOC TSP. And we map all the recommendations found by Azure Security Center to the categories of the compliance standard. For example, in Azure CIS, we have nine sections. And for example, the third section storage account. So we map, for example, this assessment result to this uh, section. And this shows to uh, satisfy the security uh, compliance standard, we need to fix this recommendation. You can get a report as PDF from here as well. And those recommendations of Azure Security Center is defined as Azure, Secu uh, Azure policy. And actually, if you want to customize, for example, if you want to add more industry uh, compliance standards or your national compliance standards, then you can add from here. Those are pro uh, provided as per view. And also, if you want to add your own policy for Azure Security Center, then you can uh, add your policy from here. And let me go back to the dashboard. So those are the first capabilities, uh, posture management. And the second one is uh, protection. So this is our security alert dashboard of Azure Security Center. And in this dashboard, you can check uh, the threat alerts from your resources found by Azure Security Center. And it includes all the alerts found by Azure Security Center covering VMs or app service or network or management layer. And for example, if I click this uh, alert fed SSH boot for attack and this VM, uh, this VM was uh, affected by this attack and we can get general information as well as remediation steps. So Azure Security Center automatically uh, detect alerts from this uh, capability. Also, Azure Security Center provides some advanced cloud defense. For example, one typical example is just-in-time VM access. So just-in-time VM access enables you to lock down your VMs in the network level by blocking inbound traffic to specific ports. And Azure Security Center will recommend you uh, 
to create this just in time VM access for your VM. And you can configure just in time VM access configuration from here. For example, for Windows Server, for example, you can uh, create a rule for our DB port and set IP address from um, max request time. Then you can limit access uh, for RDP. And adaptive network hardening is also a very uh, important capability for Azure Security Center. So advanced uh, adaptive network hardening uh, will check your network traffic from your VMs and get some alerts, for example, like this, traffic detected from IP addresses recommended for blocking. So if you have a VM connect to an IP address, which may be malicious, then Azure Security Center will produce alerts like this. Not only that, Azure Security Center provides new NSG rule to protect your resources. For example, in this case, our Azure Security Center will automatically create uh, Azure Security Center has automatically created uh, a new NSG rule for our DP port by using machine learning and by enforcing you can set the new NSG rule on your VMs. And adaptive network, uh, adaptive application controls is basically application whitelisting. So by you by, by making use of the uh, app locker on your Windows server, uh, you can create a whitelisting of applications on your VM. And file integrity monitoring will monitor uh, the hash of your files and registries and detect changes on files or registries. And please let me review the pricing of Azure Security Center. So Azure Security Center has two pricing tier. One is free tier and the other is standard tier. And free tier just covers two uh, functionalities. One is uh, continuous assessment and the other is secure score. And rest of the capabilities we provided by standard tier so just in time VM access or adaptive application control or network hardening or threat protection, uh, those capabilities will be provided by Azure Security Center standard. And you can set a uh, standard tier per resource type like VM, app service, etc. And actually, we have now a 30 day free trial of Azure Security Center standard. So if you use the uh, free trial, then you can test Azure Security Center standard uh, for 30 days. And one another important thing is the uh, integration to Defender IDP. So if you check, allow Windows Defender IDP to, ac to access my data here, then you can use uh, Defender IDP for Windows servers under Azure Security Center standard tier. So Azure Security Center standard here includes uh, Defender ATP for Windows servers as well. So if you use uh, Defender ATP with Azure Security Center, then if you go to Microsoft Defender ATP portal, then you can check whether your machines are onboarded onto Defender ATP as well. And for example, my VM my Windows server was already onboarded onto uh, Defender ATP after I onboarded this onto Azure Security Center. Then uh, 
you can check security alerts found by Defender ICP and you can get more information. For example, process tree related to this attack or incident graph related to this attack or uh, command line uh, executions found by Defender ITP. So by making use of Defender ITP, you can get more information on uh, suspicious behaviors or uh, attacks on your VMs. So let me go back to my presentation. So those are the main capabilities of Azure Security Center standard. And next, uh, please let me introduce what's new. So new capabilities of Azure Security Center. And first, let me move on to the Cloud Security Posture Management Review uh, announcements. So the first announcement on the uh, posture management is a simplified secure score model. So we recently changed our secure score model calculation uh, to the new one. And as I show in my demo, uh, now we set uh, more than 10 security controls and we calculate score uh, per each security control. So by this change, you can get a more accurate secure score uh, covering your environment. So please uh, be familiar with this change and check your secure score, which shows uh, clear your security hygiene on uh, Azure Security Center. And second thing we have improved recently uh, is automation. So we recently uh, released uh, workflow uh, automation from our security recommendation or security alerts found on Azure Security Center. And by using uh, this capability, you can automate responses uh, from your security, new security recommendations or new security alerts. I will show this in demos later. And also, uh, we recently uh, updated a uh, secure uh, policy as well. So, for example, as I showed, um, you can create your own organization policy and you can check those policy on Azure Security Center. And also, you can, by uh, making use of security, Azure Security Center community, you can share those things with others. So let me introduce the new uh, capabilities on automation. So this is a new page for workflow automation. So this automate responses uh, from your security recommendations or security alerts. And here, you can add your workflow automation. For example, like this. Um, you can select a security center data type here. So you can create workflow for threat detection alerts or security center recommendations. And for recommendation, you can select what type of recommendation, for example. So install endpoint protection solution on Linux virtual machine, so which is a, a recommendation 
on Azure Security Center. And if you, for example, if Azure Security Center find new recommendation this for your new resource or your existing resources, then you can trigger a workflow. And the workflow trigger is uh, provided by Azure Logic Apps. So if you uh, create Azure Logic Apps already, then you can connect this workflow automation to the Logic app. Then you can create this workflow. Then you can automate the response process for this recommendation. For example, so you can uh, send email to someone, or uh, you can post a new message on your Microsoft Teams or Slack, or uh, by using, for example, Azure functions or uh, Azure automation, you can uh, change the configuration of your machines or uh, NSG or etc. So that is the workflow automation which was recently announced. And next, please. Uh, let me move on to the next part, Cloud Workflow Protection, which has a lot of new capabilities recently announced. The first thing uh, I'd like to introduce is built-in vulnerability assessment for VMs. So now you can actually make use of queries agents for your VMs, both Windows and Linux on Azure, to get vulnerability assessment. So if you uh, use Azure Security Center standard here, then you can use queries for uh, without any extra charge. This capability will install queries agents onto your VM. Then the queries agent will analyze the data on your machine and send important data to queries. Then the Azure Security Center will get uh, analysis from queries, then show the result on Azure Security Center's dashboard. So by, make, by making use of this capability, you can get vulnerability assessment for your Windows and Linux machines on Azure. And second thing is the vulnerability assessment for container images. So this is also a function integrated to queries. So if you use Azure Security Center standard and enable Azure Security Center standard for your Azure Container Registry, then the queries scanner will analyze the pushed image to the Azure Container Registry. Then the queries scanner will find vulnerabilities on your images. So to protect your container environment, what is important to what is important is to check the vulnerabilities on your container images first. So if you use Azure Security Center and Azure Container Registry together, then you can make use of this functionality. And third thing is the Cloud Workload Protection for Kubernetes. So also we provide protection capabilities for Azure Kubernetes Services or AKS. And Azure Security Center will find the security problems on Kubernetes environment and also uh, malicious activities or anomalous behaviors on Kubernetes environment, so Kubernetes API server, as well as uh, nodes 
on which your container are running. And also we provide threat protection for your uh, SQL servers on Azure VMs, which was recently announced. And also, of course, we provide threat protection for SQL database or Cosmos DB or etc. And also, uh, we recently announced malware reputation screening for Azure storage. So Azure Security Center detect anomalous access or anomalous behaviors on Azure storage, Azure blob storage, but we recently added this malware screening uh, onto the capabilities for Azure storage. And also we detect anomalous activities on keyboard. So now Azure Security Center is expanding the coverage to such past resources as well. And please let me uh, move on to my demo again. And I'd like to show each capabilities. So in secure score, as I said, there are several security controls and the first one is remediate vulnerabilities. And there are several recommendations and, and some of them are related to queries. And this one, remediate vulnerabilities found on your virtual machine powered by queries. It's the one that provides vulnerability assessment uh, for your Linux and Windows machine on Azure. So if you use this uh, service, this will check the vulnerabilities on your machines with course agent. And if the scanning is finished and the queries analyzes the data and Azure Security Center get the data, then Azure Security Center's this dashboard shows uh, what kinds of vulnerabilities your Azure uh, VM has. For example, for this Windows machine, there are 102 total vulnerabilities. And for example, this one shows this machine has vulnerabilities related to the Internet Explorer. And this shows the information of these uh, vulnerabilities and related, to, related CBEs and threats related to these vulnerabilities and remediation steps. So by making use of this capability, you can get the visibility to the vulnerabilities on your machines. And actually, if you use Defender ADB, you also get the vulnerability information from Defender ADB as well. So at Ignite, so last year, we announced the threat vulnerability provided by Defender ADP, which shows also the vulnerabilities on your machines and the information related to the vulnerability. And we recently expanded this capability for Windows servers. So if you use Defender ADP for Windows server, both on Azure and on-prem, you can use this capability and you can get vulnerability information from Defender ADP as well. So this is also applicable to your on-prem machines, so you can make use of this Defender ADB for uh, on-prem Windows server as well. So now we have two, uh, two vulnerability assessment capabilities.
Now also, we provide vulnerability assessment for container images as well. So if you use Azure Container Registry and if you push a new image with vulnerability, then this Azure Security Center functionality uh, finds vulnerabilities on the image you pushed. And also it provides information on the vulnerabilities found on your images. And the same as VM, you can get information and the remediation step and etc. So that is very important if you use container images. So those are the functions we provide for vulnerability assessment for your machines and container images. And also, as I said, you can get more alerts, not only from, from your machines, but also uh, for containers or for storage or databases on this dashboard as well. So this includes, for example, uh, alerts for Kubernetes or alerts for uh, SQL database, so SQL injection or uh, malware detected on your storage account or etc. So next, we also recently announced a uh, new capability for AWS. So now as preview, we uh, can provide automatic agent on, uh, installing, so auto onboarding of the EC2 instances uh, onto Azure Security Center. So Azure Security Center uses agent for your machines and we support the provisioning of the agent onto EC2 uh, from Azure Security Center dashboard. So now you can uh, monitor not only machines on your Azure or on-prem machines, but also AWS EC2 machines as well in the same dashboard. Um, also, uh, Azure Security Center uh, can send alert data to Azure Sentinel, which is our cloud native theme. So Azure Security Center finds out of threat and uh, recommendations, but it's still limited to IOS and paths and servers. But usually uh, a lot of customers want to analyze alerts with, for example, IOS alerts and the path alerts with other alerts, for example, alerts from uh, on-prem network solutions like firewall or proxy servers, or uh, alerts from Microsoft 365, or alerts from other third-party security solutions. Then if you send alert data from Azure Security Center to Sentinel, then you can analyze the alerts uh, with those alerts as well. So I'd like to show some demos on the Azure Sentinel integration. So this is a dashboard of Azure Sentinel. So you can use Azure Sentinel if you have Azure subscriptions. Then there are data connectors. So if you use Azure Sentinel, then probably you need to uh, use this data connector first. Then by using these data connectors, uh, you can send data from your uh, resources to Azure Sentinel. Then for example, we have a connector for Azure Security Center. So this connector sends a lot of data from Azure Security Center to Sentinel. 
So, for example, I have several other subscriptions like this. And um, if I change from disconnect to connect for this subscription, then this subscription's Azure Security Center will automatically send all the alert data to this Azure Sentinel workspace. And in the analytics page, you can set this incident uh, registration so this uh, analytics rule uh, create incidents based on Azure Security Center alerts. So if you uh, turn on this alert rule, then Azure Sentinel will automatically create incidents if Azure Security Center detects some alerts. Then all the uh, alerts of Azure Security Center will appear on this Azure Sentinel Incident Dashboard. And this incident dashboards uh, have a lot of alerts from a lot of products, for example, Azure Sentinel itself, or Microsoft Cloud App Security, or Azure Security Center, or etc. And this alert, traffic detected from IP address, uh, recommended for blocking. So this alert was produced by Azure Security Center, but you can investigate this alert at Azure Sentinel. And Azure, Azure Security Center send uh, related data on this alert, for example, IP address or Azure subscription or Azure resource group or etc. And you can find, for example, related alerts on this entity or find other information. So by using Sentinel together with Azure Security Center, you can explore the total behaviors of an attacker uh, covering not only Azure resources, but also other uh, services like Office 365 or on-prem services. So please, please, please take action today and you can easily get started with Azure Security Center previews as well. So at first, please uh, enable Azure Security Center to, ac uh, to assess your secure score across the entire or organization. So even for free tier, you can get Azure Secure Score and recommendations. So please make use of those things first. Um, yeah, please uh, act upon your top five recommendations found by Secure Score. And if you upgrade to Azure Security Center standard, then you can maximize security value. So you can uh, make use of all the capabilities I introduced today uh, by using standard tier. And also you can try the free trial for Security Center standard for 30 days. And this slide summarizes our Ignite announcements on Azure Security Center. And as you can see, we have a lot of, a lot of announcements on Azure Security Center. And actually now also we are creating a lot of new functions of Azure Security Center. So please uh, stay tuned on Azure Security Center and please make sure uh, you make use of this capability, uh, those capabilities for your uh, security on Azure. And thank you very much for your attention today. And yeah, and please uh, 
make use of Azure Security Center as, a, as much as possible to get uh, your security posture on Azure uh, IS and pass, and also uh, find threats or give protection for your resources. Thank you very much. So this is the end of my presentation. And from now on, I'd like to have some Q&A time. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask any questions here. Yeah.